Hey, this is Bjorn Rebney, CEO and Chairman of Bellator MMA. You're watching ProMMANow.com. All right, Dan the Wolfman here for ProMMANow.com with the champion, Pat in. How's it going? I'm feeling great, man. Cloud nine right now. Can you kind of remember each round by round, or is it all blur right now? I remember a little bit, but I, you know, it's really hard to replay the, the rounds back in my head. But um, I know they were very close rounds. I, I just remember there was a lot of blood, a lot of us, um, you know, cuts on on Pitbull's face, and you know, it was just a back and forth battle. So it's really hard to, you know, break down the rounds. But I want to go home and watch it, and then kind of critique myself. When when they were making the announcements, what were you thinking? Did you think right away that you definitely had it in the bag, and then it got announced that it was looking like a split? After, yeah, after the fight, I it was like, you know, I was really confident. I thought I was going to win, and then when they actually, all my corners were telling me, "Oh, you got this for sure. You know, you won for sure." But when it went down to a split decision, I started got a little worried. I'm like, wait, maybe I did lose. You know, it's like I, I was really hard to hard to say. But um, but yeah, it was a close fight, and you know, I'm just happy with the turnout. I thought it'd be either like 48, 47, or 49. 46 your way but the first and the third round were kind of up in the air it looked like to me the second and fourth and fifth i thought were yours but you know that's from one cage side looking at it on tv looking at it from different angles is a different story so it was a pretty close fight i mean it was it, some of the rounds were very th third fourth round specifically were good action packed rounds yeah absolutely like i said he was very active you know he was a little bit more conservative than i i, I anticipated but you know he was looking for his harder shots he was blocking defending very well and you know, I was able to capitalize on some of the harder, open, harder shots uh, landing on him. So yeah, technically, his stand-up looked a little bit better than I expected. And did you expect him to shoot more than he did? He only took one single leg shot on you. It looked like the whole fight. Yeah, he only we didn't really clinch too much, and he shot in once. And you know, I was expecting him to shoot in a little bit more, maybe even you know, right off the bat, you know, first round shoot in. I was always ready for was ready for him coming in with a flying knee, coming in with just throwing haymakers at me. But you know, and. and and it actually worked out perfect. He took his time, and you know that's exactly what I uh, wanted. Well, your boxing looked sharp. What what did he was he hitting with you? Second round it looked like he did hit you with a lot of leg kicks, and then he kind of abandoned that. And and it looked like most mostly your defense was up. A lot of stuff was hitting you on the forearms. Um, but uh, you know, little MMA gloves. I think a few hooks were sneaking in. Was that pretty much the the most that he was really getting in on you that you felt? You know, he was landing some hard body shots on me that were taking a lot out of me. And you know, I was defending a lot of his uh, striking as well. But you know, those small gloves able to sneak in and you know find their way in through your uh, your defense. So, um, but yeah, you know, the main thing was just keep my hands up, blocking the chin and, and blocking his power shots. You know, I think he also landed a uh, head kick on me or late or, or smacked me with the, his foot. Through with his foot. Yeah. What about your foot? Did you get you get hurt in the fight? Yeah, you know, the first round, I he, I kicked, he blocked, and he landed right on his elbow. So I didn't worry about it right away. But after the fight, that's when the adrenaline wears off and all the pain starts setting in, and I could barely walk to my room. Did you get looked at now? Is it just like an extension in the ankle, or is anything broken? No, it, there's a pretty good sized lump on the top of it right now. So I, I'm keeping it ice. Got Advil, and I'm gonna go home and uh, get an X-ray. So we'll know in a few days. Now that we're here, you know, here on Spike TV, maybe um, you know, hopefully you'll get the tournament. And you'll get, you'll be fighting. Uh, well, who's up next for you, actually? Daniel Strauss. Daniel Strauss. Strauss. Won the tournament. Any idea when they're going to set that up? I have no clue. Um, if it's up to me, I want to do it as soon as possible. As long as I'm 100%, I'm going right back into the gym as soon as I can uh, start training. And, you know, like I just want to keep it a busy year. I know the, the tournament, there's a couple backup fights right now for uh, the 145 uh, weight class, and I want to get those over with and, and just keep the ball rolling. All right. Great. Thank you very much, sir.